All right, as you guys can probably see right now, I'm actually at the gas station to go to Ohio for my next YouTube video. To start this video, I'm gonna show a Western Wildcats practice that we had. Me and Nick know our next opponent was the Midwest Mallards. It was gonna be a very tough matchup as they have Jordan Robles, and again, they're one of the teams to beat this year in MLW. So we wanted to go get some work in, so we brought Jimmy Norp. We got some work in. We worked on hitting screwballs and a couple other pitches, along with some more stuff. Start this video, we go up to the Meadows, and me, Nick, and Jimmy get some work in, so I'm gonna roll you guys some clips of what we got. Jimbo, how do you think the first series? I think we did well, you know, the young guys stepped up. That's good to see. Everybody always says the D-backs don't have depth. You look at game three, Trey Flood throws a shutout, Casey Bennett hits a two-run homer. Trey Flood and Casey Bennett won a game for a D-backs. That's all we could ask for. I'm ready for the rest of the year, baby. Yes, sir, let's go, baby. At a boy sale. First screwball I've actually screwed up in a long time. Peep, peep the beat up shirt there by sale too. Yes, JP. See ya. That's Jordan Robles. That's Sunday at 5:30. That's Jordan. Hey. Yeah, JP. Wow! Holy! How you know a ball was nuked? Tell us a little bit about today. I mean, today, I think, I'm about to say, me, JP, you know Jackson Pearson on YouTube. If you haven't subscribed, you need to right now. We're out here, we're, we're balling. You know, I'm thankful for him to be out here and giving us good opportunities. <laughs> uh, He's thankful, Jim. You know, it's just a lot of uh, a lot of practice. And that's one thing about this league. You know, it used to be just, you know, you show up, you play, but as the league gets better and better, we need to practice. In practice, you're going to see some good Wildcat with ball on Sunday against the Mallards. <laughs> Actually, Wheeler, you're a quick guy. There you go, too. All right. Let's go to the other line. Where did you get her from? Where'd she go? Where'd Gavin go? I don't know. I lost everybody. <laughs> Oh, what up, kid? Oh, there he is. What's up, Jamarcus? Come on, take me. <laughs> <laughs> Gavin goes, let's do a toilet paper. Dude, it takes so long. This kid bails out of everything. I know. We started playing a wiffle ball game earlier. Going. Fifth inning, kid just quits. Man, look how Jump too hard, don't stand too close. You gon' fuck around and drown off this way. Doing all these shows. I've been on the road. I don't care where I go. I need whatever that kid was on. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Bro, I just his head back on the Dude, it was knocked like I've never seen it. She was, was it a guy or a girl? I don't even, I don't even know. <laughs> she was slow. Look at all the Holly chairs. It actually smells like every girl in our hometown right now. <laughs> Almost just fell over, no big deal. Thursday night, so me and Gavin are just chilling downtown. Gavin's behind the cam as normal. Yes, sir. Downtown Holly. Right, many of you guys know Nick Styles. Nick's been in a couple videos. We fucking screwed at his car one time. We can roll that clip. <laughs> we hang out with this kid named Elijah Flashin. He had one of the funniest presentations ever. He was talking about like selling weed and stuff. So you're supposed to like be serious in this presentation. This is like about like what you're gonna do after high school. And then he started talking about like GM and then his dispensary that he's gonna own. So, so I'm gonna roll this whole presentation because like Elijah was like, hey, you guys can put it in your YouTube video if you want. So I was like, dude, I know I already showed Gavin it. Gavin Wild. <laughs> So I'm gonna roll this clip right now, you guys will like it. Then me and Gavin are gonna start scootering afterwards. We're just gonna hang out down here. Take it all in, baby. Pause, but we're gonna take it all in for the night. So let's go. I'm Elijah Flashings, and this is my senior exit project. Originally, I did not have any school appropriate pictures with my friends. Um, but I use art for money. I love money. Oh. <laughs> I'm a risk taker. I believe in taking a risk in everything you do. You're helping others. Um, yeah, helping others in a flexible schedule artifact. I brought in my torque wrench. For GCI, I went to GCI for medium and heavy duty truck. I got the basic knowledge on heavy duty 
diesel trucks such as the engines, brakes, suspension, electrical, and transmission is all done. And I completed my base camp training. I believe that I can put the can in cannabis. Finally <laughs> <laughs> for permits, they have to pay the fees, they have to buy all the equipment, you have to of course buy security and run my business the best I can. I'm going with this is Ohio. 23,400 jobs are expected if fully legalized. The timeline for this is graduate from this lovely high school, go to Cincinnati to get my degree, start my business, enjoy my life, and then maybe settle down and start a family. Any questions? So with the GCI training, and your work experience on your resume, it seems like you're more car focused, correct? And then we're going into cannabis licensing. So what made you make that jump? Where would you get that interest? <laughs> Are we gonna the money? That's what it <laughs> seems so car related that your interest in your wrench and your artifact, and then you jump to a business aspect. Was there always a business aspect side of it of you that you were interested? I want to say I I would rather be working on cars for like fun. Mm -hmm. I don't want to like work on other people's stuff and not make a living off of it. Mm -hmm. I'd rather go out and make the money. Mm -hmm. and, and it's something I also want. <laughs> 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 yeah, mine's more on the Cincinnati kind of thing. Why did you choose the University of Cincinnati in their business school? I'd rather be out in the city and doing something than go and buy cars. <laughs> 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 So for this, they say the cannabis companies from all over the world may be coming in and starting to flood it a little bit. So making me like myself an independent person, it's going to be a little hard for me to take a job and start my own business, but I can't say that. <laughs> <laughs> take the risk. I mean, you never know until you try. And I believe you should, if you want to live, you should do it. Do it the way you want to do it. Oh my God, Elijah, that's good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 How is that it? <laughs> <laughs> Alright boys, it's been about probably like three months, but I think I still got it in the tank. Cause on the big deck. Yeah, once you get it, you never lose it. Oh my god, I was talking about this with my boy Coop the other day. These chairs right here, all those and then the other like summer chairs that you have, you guys know what I'm talking about. You will have an hour conversation and just buy a campfire in the summer with your boys. Those, nostalgic. So. This segment is called what to do and what not to do. This is what you're supposed to do. Roll the clip of what not to do. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice always Yo, oh, what's oh, good? Oh, we got DJ and his dad pulling up. Oh, what up, boys? What's up? What's up? <laughs> what's up, DJ? Oh, they got a green. Okay. <laughs> hey, we're, fil we're filming and we're just scooting right now. Yeah. Me run <laughs> Dude, we see DJ's dad. We say what's up to him. It's a green light. <laughs> and it starts turning yellow and he just goes through it. It turns yellow. It's about to turn red. And he just starts going after he sits at the green light. Love DJ. And Mr. Edmund Sue, beast, we love you. Oh! Oh! Ah. <laughs>
frown and she got a call. I give that girl all the money in my wallet. Me and my niggas, you know that we both. <laughs> I got all <laughs>